watching this TV show, right? And the news popped up. When the news popped up, it was some bullshit ass news, right? But like the thing that I was watching, I forgot what I was watching. It was linked to like Las Vegas news, like current breaking news, right? It was some online shit. So it was like breaking news. And I looked and I seen a peacock and I was like, a peacock? What, what the fuck is a peacock doing in Las Vegas? Right? Turns out there's a peacock named Pete in Las Vegas. This nigga just walks around the neighborhood, does his own thing, minds his own business. Some asshole shot him with a bow and arrow. Now, there's a lot of things that we can really get into, we can really discuss. Why are people so fucking stupid and so fucked up? Why? Why do you feel the fucking need to be a fucking complete asshole? Yo, target practice. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what age that person was that did that. Why the fuck did that fucking idiot pull up to someone's restaurant? Yo, if my restaurant fucks with whatever rights, civil rights, gay rights, um, Palestinian rights, any type of fucking rights, whatever rights that it fucks with. If my shit is called rights and you walk in there saying, yo, fuck those rights and you try to fucking tear down the flag and you fucking do, dog, there's this one guy, right, pulled up to a restaurant. Pulls up to a restaurant. And he decides to get mad at the rainbow flag in front of the restaurant. Now, I'm a Muslim brother, right? And I'm going to say this. I'm going to represent all my Muslims. We don't like seeing that type of shit. If someone believes in someone, someone represents something, they should not be murdered killed for their beliefs because we do not want the same thing happening to us this woman has a rainbow flag in front of her restaurant what happens you want to know what happens a dude tries to rip it down she's like why are you ripping it down he deletes her you get what I'm saying then you have an innocent Indian man in Ontario, has his own Indian restaurant, his own business, making money, doing his thing, probably trying to establish his shit for the next generations to come for his own family, helping his family. He's probably helping people back home and everything. Yeah, I'm painting the picture like that because that's how it is. Niggas that own restaurants, that's usually how it is, man. You have a bunch of fucking people that didn't want to pay their bill or something like that. They didn't like how the person talked to them. They killed, they basically deleted the owner. And all the money they raised for the owner and everything is not enough money for the restaurant to shut down. Maybe, maybe enough money for to, to keep the restaurant up, but there has to be people in the family that can help the restaurant keep going. Right, And I know the community is going to help out. Shout out to the community. But it's going to be even more of a struggle to keep that shit running. And you have to really love the nigga that died to really keep that shit running. Let's be humane. Let's be like real about this shit. Let's be realistic. These guys did that because they didn't like the nigga's choice of words. You didn't like his choice of words. So you decided... Oh, you know what? We're going to harm this guy because we didn't like his choice of words to us. I don't understand this type of shit. 
Someone says something you don't like, whatever happened to just yelling at them, cussing them out, and walking away? Do you know the type of shame that you feel? Yo, how many times have you ever, like, just, my bad, went at someone, yelled at someone, cussed them out, yelled at them on the street and everything, woke up the next day and went like, man, I shouldn't have done that. I felt like an asshole. I shouldn't have, I felt made an ass of myself. I shouldn't have done that. Unless you're a complete fucking idiot or a complete dickhead or have no type of empathy, no type of sympathy, no type of fucking human conditioning, then you might not feel that type of shame, but you're going to feel like, man, I should have handled that better. If you have any type of intellect, you're going to say, I should have handled that better. Even an ounce of fucking intellect. This guy decides, yo, I'm gonna, you know what, like, it's just, it's just too much shit. An ounce of fucking intellect sometimes. So, there's this dumb thing that happened. I was gonna talk about this baby mom thing. So this one, it's like a TikTok thing that was trending. And I was like, but I don't think it matches the topics that we're talking about. But this one baby mom's, she's talking about how she got this one dude, this one dude got her pregnant and now she's stuck with the baby, not stuck with the baby. She loves the baby, obviously, but she's with the baby. She's a single mother. The dad doesn't fuck with the, the mom. Now, being a child that's been through that type of shit. I don't don't believe any of the parents. If you, unless you unless you can hear it from someone that was close to those two people, that knows what the fuck is going on, fuck both the parents. You wanna know why? One, one the other parent should not be trashing the other parent no matter what unless the parent is a fucking the leader or an abuser, or that type of shit, then it's a different story. But if it ain't like that, the relationship just didn't work out for y'all, nigga, don't believe any of the fucking parents. And I'm talking about to all the kids out there that's like, oh, my mom, my dad, I don't know who to believe. Don't believe any of them niggas. That's what you should tell them. I don't believe any of you niggas. Both of y'all have to prove to me what's going on. Because, end of the day, the mother is gonna is gonna try to get sympathy, and then the dad is trying to be like, "I tried." Literally, that's all the stories I hear, and it's either the nigga actually tried, or you know what I mean, or the or the girl actually went through some complete fucking utter bullshit through the, with the nigga. Now, what's worse? Yes, we know what's worse. The mother going through some bullshit with the nigga. Yes, we know that's worse. Then the dad, oh, I tried, but yes, there's so many ways that the dad could try. Yes, we understand that. We get it. We get it. We understand that. Us men, we understand. Real men understand that type of shit. Understand that sentiment. But that's not what the fuck I'm talking about. It's not what we're getting into. That ain't what we're getting into. At all. I'm sick and tired of that. Okay? So, that type of shit, to me, makes no motherfucking sense. Because the, the child, and especially if you guys are arguing online, the child's going to go online, look at this shit, and be like, what are my parents on? What are my parents doing? What the fuck? Why do they feel like this is okay? They're embarrassing me. I'm so happy that like when, when my parents went through their shit, there was no fucking social media where I could see some shit that they said about each other. I'm so fucking happy. It's just crazy to me, man. And a lot of people, they don't realize it until they... Ha I'm telling you, there's going to be a whole wave of kids growing up and their parents were like social media influencers. There's going to be a whole fucking wave of that shit. 
of my mom was famous, but not like celebrity famous, social media famous, and it's going to be even worse than the stories that you hear about the, the other shit. It's different. Social media fame is instant, and it can disappear instantly. Anyways. So, that's just how it is. In terms of that. Um, <sighs> okay. So, 